Today, I built the cheapest gaming setup for Minecraft Battle Wars. Everything from the keyboard and mouse to even the computer I used in this video are all gonna be extremely budget friendly. But why did I do this? So last video, I tried to get the highest FPS world record in Minecraft. And to do this, I used a very overkill gaming setup. But you don't actually need an expensive setup. And today, I'm gonna prove that. Either way though, this video was still pretty expensive. So please subscribe so we can hit 250k. Oh, oh wait, we, uh, we actually did that. Subscribe so we can hit a million. Make sure to check out the merch so I can keep making these videos because they're quite a lot of fun actually. And we now also have super thanks enabled on the channel so you can donate your life savings in a YouTube comment. Yay! Thanks YouTube, very cool. Alright, so the first part of building a setup is to define a budget. I decided against setting a specific number for our budget so the plan was just to avoid overspending on anything as much as possible. Starting off with the PC. I used to have this really old cheap gaming PC that my dad got for me in like 2017. Yeah, but unfortunately I sold most of it, but I still had the PC case, which itself was worth around $40, so I decided to go with that. I dug it out my dad's garage, and boom, we had a PC case. Even better, inside the PC was my old motherboard, an Asus Z270 motherboard, which you can find online for as low as $70. So we now had a case with two freakishly old fans. They honestly look quite gross. And a motherboard. Yay! For the CPU, I knew I needed something decent, because Minecraft is a CPU intensive game. So I found an Intel i5 6600K Pro Processor for around $60. And yeah, so far we've we've spent $170, which I think is pretty oh, good. Oh, editing guinea here. I forgot to mention the CPU cooler. This is the CPU cooler. It was around $50. Next up, we need a power supply. Now, it's a pretty good idea to buy a, a decent power supply because you buy a cheap one and it might explode. We don't want that. But I found one that only looked like it was half gonna explode. I'll take that as a win. So all computers require storage. But luckily, I was able to get this one terabyte SSD for only $40. This is definitely more storage than we actually needed, but I couldn't resist. For RAM, I knew we had to go very cheap because we already spent quite a bit of money so far. So I found this Kingston 8GB RAM for around $25. At $275 total, all we needed now was a graphics card. Now, this was actually pretty difficult because it's actually really hard to get a graphics card. This computer actually had a graphics card inside of it, but upon my research, I found that this was almost 12 years old, approximately the age of you, my subscribers. I knew I had to get a better graphics card and fast. So I went to Amazon, but it was bad. So I went to eBay in desperation, of course, and I found an RX 580 4 gigabyte graphics card for around $50. Anyway, the day came and everything had arrived, but I was most concerned about the graphics card. The packaging for it absolutely sucked. Moment of truth. Ah, yes. <laughs> Secure packaging, guys. Is this the graphics card? I was convinced that it was not gonna work. Oh, this thing's dusty, dude. We'll have to see. I installed everything, the power supply, the SSD, the CPU, and the I'm GPU. I'm just gonna show whatever I recorded. I, d I don't know. And boom, here it is. The most financially affordable gaming computer. Might explode, but pretty great. Yay. Bed Wars. But before we get into it, I must beg for subscribers. You see, I must hit 250k subs so I can flex to my university lecturer that I have more clout. So please subscribe. If we succeed, I might get his job. I'm joking. I'm <laughs> I hope he's not watching this video. Okay, and the budget setup is complete. That's right, here it is in all of its glory. Everything on this setup is budget. This RGB light bar over here only costed me $20. This keyboard, as you see right here, literally only costed me $10, and I got it around six years ago. And of course, we have my old blue Yeti. To bring the price down on this, though, I had to get rid of the stand and make my own. Of course, we have my mouse over here. This is the Extrify M42. It can butterfly click 22 CPS. Pretty good mouse. And then we have the Amazon Basics mouse. Mat. Don't ask why, I just thought it would be cool. And then we have the computer. Look at it, dude. It looks so good. And finally, the monitor, which I almost forgot to mention. This is an AOC. Oh, shoot. Compared to my current gaming monitor, this thing is very capable. Okay, guys, here we are on the budget gaming PC. As you can see, it's right behind me. As you can see, I have Minecraft already open. I'm not gonna lie, though. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. We only have four gigabytes of RAM because one of our RAM sticks basically died. 90% usage. All right, here we go. We're logging on to my favorite Minecraft server, Hypixel. Here we go. I don't know if you can see my screen. Oh, nine frames. Oh, it's laggy. Ooh. Oh, wait, 100 FPS. It's fine now. 
Hello. So we're currently getting 113 FPS in the Bed Wars lobby. That's not bad. Now let me disable players and we're now getting 300. Wait. Let me fly over here where there's like nothing around. Oh my god! Oh! I'm blurring that. I don't wanna I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna reveal that that early. Anyway, here's the plan. We're gonna play some Bed Wars games. We're gonna try shaders. We're gonna try RTX. My computer will probably explode. Have you subscribed? I, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Oh yeah, and guess what? I'm not gonna nick. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, here we are in the first game. As you can see, I am not nicked right now. I'm just gonna hide in this corner and hopefully no one will see me. Uh, oh no. Okay, Battle Wars game FPS reveal. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. 700, what? 700. Oh my God, you should have seen what we were getting in the lobby. In the Bed Wars lobby, we were getting like a thousand. So this graphics card is actually pretty decent. And oh, I just realized we're probably gonna get targeted. Yeah, we're currently getting 490, 600 FPS. Wait, 900, 900 was bridging, 1000. All of this with literally default Minecraft settings. Like I've only changed like a couple settings. I enabled fast render. Bye. Get him, yes. Yes! Oh god. Let's go! I wanna see. Can we win the first game? We have to win the first game. I'm surprisingly not even getting noticed. I'm that irrelevant. <laughs> well, that's not allowed. Sorry. Yep. He survived! Nope. And your bed is gone. Oh god, he's good at PvP. No! No! There we go. Also, if my PvP sucks randomly, basically my keyboard, the keyboard is only like $10, right? For some reason, it's really light. So if I like press down too hard, the keyboard just slides off my desk. So if I just randomly like fall off at any given point during PvP, that's probably why. I'm actually surprised how good this computer actually is. It's actually insane. Ah! No. Yeah, goodbye, buddy. Well, your bed's gone. And bye. We, we won the first game. Oh no. Oh no. 800 stars. Yep, yep, I'm dead. So in this game, we're gonna see how much FPS we can get. Like, what is the maximum FPS? We're gonna see what the highest FPS we can get actually is on this computer, because it has to be like, has to be something, right? Oh, and he just decided not to take KB. You could have, you idiot, you could have taken my bed. Hi, blue team. I'm just gonna take your bed. Oh, you want a screeny? He has two seconds to take a screeny. One, two, die! Hold on, so if I stare into the sky like this, what's my frame rate? What? Oh! What did I just- Wait. No, 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 no. What? What? 3,500 frames. I made a mistake. Why did I buy a free grand gaming PC when I could have just bought this? Oh, hey, red team. Oh, this man is laggy. Look at him go. Yo, giddy. I am a fad. Your Wi-Fi sucks. Oh, is that? Oh, that's the, uh, that's the 800 star. I'm going invis. I don't care. How is he not dying? My guy has like, okay. Oh, wait. No. Go away. Why is everyone on my face? Oh, and he blocked me in. Oh, no. What's that gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Your Wi-Fi sucks. Goodbye. Oh, hi, white team. You're gonna let me cross this bridge, right? Yeah, totally. You would let me. Oh, my God. He's shooting me. I just killed myself. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm definitely about to get targeted by, like, 12 people. It's not gonna be great. Oh, no. I'm surprised how good this computer is. There's zero micro stuttering. I'm getting what? Like average 600 FPS? Oh, he's still alive. Nope. No, you're not. And his bed's gone. I'm about to lose my bed to Aqua Team. Do I void? I'm gonna say yes. I'm literally averaging like 600 FPS, I would say. This computer is low-key insane. If your CPU is not good enough, the game can't keep up. This is only a four-core CPU. It's actually quite low core count. I don't remember. Oh god, okay, who did that? This mouse is not bad either though. Extremely budget, right? 17 CPS, 20? Hello, red team. Is that a fireball? Yes, it is. You gonna use it? I actually have five. Hey guys. <laughs> ah! I'm just gonna do that. Red team, it's time to die. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump over him. What is this bed defense? What is it? Ah, I'm burning. 
That's illegal. Die! And I'm gonna go download shaders now. I have some good news. It's been 20 minutes, and here's why. Essentially, I was investigating why my RAM wasn't working, and I, I and I accidentally fixed it in the process, basically. So we now have 8 gigs of RAM installed, which now means we can run shaders. Yeah! Shaders! So I have three different types of shaders installed. We have low-end shaders, we have medium shaders, and we also have high-end shaders. And we're gonna see how well the computer runs all of them. Now, so far the computer hasn't been that loud. It's been really quiet, actually, now that I think about it. I haven't actually thought about it. And we're gonna see how well they run. Goodbye. And he's dead. First of all, the low-end shaders. Let's see. Tilda's vibrant shaders. And oh! Oh my god! This isn't actually that bad. Oh, and we lost the bed. I don't know why the render distance is so low. We're currently getting 180 FPS. That's a really, really steady FPS. I have a fireball ready. Boom. Oh my god. Oh! And he's gone. I just checked, and this computer is not even running that hot. It's running at 50 degrees, and it's so quiet. This is amazing. And you're dead. In a moment, we're gonna try the medium shaders. I wanna see if they still run well. The computer might start to struggle at medium shaders. I'm failing to break the bed here, hold on. And you're dead again. And your bed's gone, but it'll, it'll be fine. All right, let's switch to medium shaders and bam. Here we go, medium shaders. Oh my God. We're getting 180 FPS. Okay, the frames are still really good. In fact, they're actually higher for some reason. These shaders have always looked really blurry to me. Pink team's going for my bed. Oh, yeah. How does the recording look? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, speed and jump boost. There he is. Get the bed. And he failed to get a better sword. Well played. High-end shaders, let's go. We're currently on 1.19 right now because we're gonna try the high-end shaders. Let's go. So 300 FPS, keep that in mind. We're gonna turn shaders on. And I just realized I queued this map. This was a terrible idea. No! Attempt number two. Oh, this is so pretty. We're getting around 90 FPS. Oh God, bridging in 1.19. Bye. And you're dead. Also, PvP in 1.19 is also just hot garbage. Oh god. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad! It's- If I win this game, it will be- it will be a miracle. I'm just saying. We're averaging around 90. It doesn't really seem to get any higher or any lower than that. Oh, I'm screwed, dude. I can't see a single thing. Oh my god. How do Goodbye, white team. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. I see you, buddy. I see you. I see you, buddy. I'm still gonna lose this fight, aren't I? Frick, okay, yep, uh...